If you've seen my other Canva videos, then you may already know about this secret hidden gem, or what I like to call a Canva cheat code. It's the ability of turning Canva Magic Write into a prompt engineering machine. But the more and more I experiment with this magical feature, the more I discover its impressive capabilities. So today, I'm gonna share with you guys an amazing prompt that will actually generate prompts. Plus two more content creation prompts. But then we're gonna take those prompts and then generate more, and then more more and then more after that basically turning canva magic right into a prompt generating expert over and over again but if that doesn't make sense don't worry i'm going to show you exactly what i mean and how you can actually generate unlimited amounts of prompts by using the magic of Canva Magic Write. So the first thing we're gonna do is head over to my Airtable Mega Prompts database. Now, this is an Airtable, and in my opinion, it's gonna be the best place to store and organize all of your prompts. For tons of prompts and the ultimate prompts database, Click the links in the description. Right now, I'm over here in the AI art section of all my prompts. So if you don't have access to this mega database, I'll actually include a link in my description so you can get access to it too. And then in addition to that mega prompts database, I'll also put a link in my description to every prompt that we're going over today in Canva, as well as links in my description to give you access to thousands of prompts all on my website and my blog post that you could all use, copy and paste for free, however you like to. So here we are in the database, and then one thing to keep in mind, so this has everything from AI art prompts, SEO, act as, content creation, etc. These prompts we're working with today, you can find in two sections. We have the prompt engineering section, so these are all of the prompt generators, prompts that generate prompts, but I also had to add a completely different section specifically for Canva, especially since I discovered that Canva Magic Write can be turned into a prompt engineering machine. So right down here at the very bottom, I'll click to accept the whole cell and you could see this is gonna be a pretty long prompt so what we want to do is just copy this whole entire prompt as is right here okay so it's all copied now we're gonna head over to Canva and now once we're over here in Canva notice the first thing I did was I opened up a Canva magic doc I have a completely new slate the first thing you want to start with you're not gonna paste the prompt right here like you would in chat GPT you're gonna first hit this little plus button that you see on my screen and that's gonna be called add magic so here's the plus button hit that plus button don't type in where it says search anything all that is is a search bar what you want to do is select magic right click on magic right and now we have this new pop-up box that appears now it is a small pop-up box but no worries you can paste anything that you want and so in this case I'm gonna paste that incredibly long prompt I just shared with you so once I have the prompt pasted in here's what's very important that you want to keep in mind so there's the whole entire prompt down here at the bottom you just want to make Make sure you replace the subject with an actual subject so my subject is and that's where you're gonna enter the sort of image you're looking for so uh, my subject is a I'll just put a modern home okay modern home now once you have your subject just go ahead and now select generate give it about five to ten seconds and then almost instantly you'll see here we have it it did automatically produce all of these prompts for us so we have everything from cinematic style all the way down to GoPro, National Geographic, 8K, and then extreme close-up shot. For example, I can go ahead and then copy this prompt, okay? So the next thing you could do is you could take this prompt and you could use Canva Magic Design to generate images instantly, or you could take it to another tool like my favorite, Leonardo AI, and then paste this prompt in there and get some breathtaking, realistic looking images. So let's go ahead and try that very quickly. So I'm in Leonardo AI. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my favorite fine tune model Kino XL and I'm gonna change my preset to cinematic but then in Canva let's also see how well it could generate an image like this in Magic Studio so in this case what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna use magic media so we have text to video which is impressive if you haven't seen my video about this make sure you watch this video but then I'm gonna try text to image in magic media open up this one right here and then instantly on the left hand side we're gonna go ahead and then open this up here is where we can now paste our prompt in that's the prompt I just copied and now let's go ahead and then select generate image while that's waiting check out the images right here where I used Leonardo AI directly from canvas prompt now this is just proof that Canva does create some amazing looking prompts I basically said a modern home and with the power of that prompt from Canva and then Leonardo AI I got exactly just that this looks fascinating and so if I like it I'll download it now let's head back over here to Canva and then look what Canva 
Canva made for us over here on the left hand side. We have four images. Now this is incredibly impressive. I'll select this one and I'll go through each one of these. Here's the first one it made for us exactly what we were looking for, modern home. And now we have this second one right here. Again, very good. And then there's the third one, which is probably going to be my favorite. And now the fourth and final one that Canva made from us. So as you could see, Canva is very capable. In fact, highly impressive when it comes to not only generating prompts, but also creating the images based off of those prompts Canva gave us. So look at the difference. If I look at this image right here, let me just take this one for an example here and I'll expand it. Okay. Check out this image right here. So we have this one. And then we have Leonardo AI, which in my opinion is the best AI art generator. We have that image right here. But then look at it compared to Canva. Canva did just as well of a job. So you can basically leverage and use Canva like you would with ChatGPT or AI art generators like Leonardo AI or Midjourney. Canva can actually do it all. All right, so let's head back over to our doc right here. Now, this is one of the most impressive things for me in Canva Magic Write. So like I mentioned earlier, we're basically going to get prompts on top of prompts on top of prompts. So with that being said, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that same prompt that we just used to generate that modern house. Now, once I have the whole entire thing highlighted, look right here, this box automatically appear that says magic, right? Click on that. Now what we can do is a few different things to get prompts on top of prompts on top of prompts. I can select continue writing to make my prompt longer. Not looking for that right now. I want a shorter and more simple prompt. Summarize rewrite more fun more formal okay so check this out now let's get a different style of prompt but with the same exact characteristics of the prompt i'm going to select summarize to take that original one and now put it below so it's a little bit of a shorter variation but if i copy and paste this prompt i'll get similar results but yet different looking images now keep that in mind now check this out now based off of this one i'm going to highlight it again the dialog box pops up for magic right click it now do this now let's do rewrite same thing okay now i basically turned one prompt into three total and there we have that right here there is the third one same thing modern home let's highlight it one more time highlight it select magic right now make more fun there we go again so we basically turned one prompt into four and there is this one that's going to be more fun pretty cool, right? So you could do this over and over again for any prompt that you get in Canva. Okay, so now that's the first prompt I want to share with you guys. I have two more. The first one was for AI generated images. Now, the second one and even the third one are going to help you produce some amazing content, whether it be for any sort of social media platform or even YouTube. Check out these two prompts I want to share with you next, and we're going to utilize the same process to get prompts on top of prompts. Okay, so now we're back over here in my mega prompts generator let's open up this other one right here this is called canva social post producer here is the whole entire thing right here okay let's go ahead and copy it and it's going to create content for us specifically for twitter or for x so i have a new doc that's opening up and then we're going to do the same thing click that plus button click on magic right here is the dialog box and then paste your prompt in again same thing here's the whole entire prompt but one thing you want to keep in mind is make sure yet again the subject make sure you actually give it a subject my subject is and i just said the emergence of ai okay that's going to be my subject i select generate now watch this as it thinks five to ten seconds look at this right here there we go i get instantly 10 post specifically for Twitter or X, and they're all going to be under 280 characters, the max, and then there we have it. Look at this right here. Even with the cool little emoji we get for each one. There's the first one. The future is here. Dive into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. Yet again, we're going to do the same thing. Select this first one, okay, and I'm going to select magic right, and this time I'm going to say sprinkle fairy dust. This is pretty cool because it's going to give me something completely different. Okay, I got sprinkle fairy dust. Let's do this other one right here. Let me hover over over this one select magic right and then we're gonna do uh, continue writing make it a little bit longer this will be too long for a Twitter post but look at this that is where you can take this first initial one that's 280 characters use it and then you could use this one as more of like an explainer you're basically double dipping and that's a good way that you could actually get 
many different headlines for anything. So this could be your headline, right? Your H1, but then this one could be your description. And then you could repeat the process, rinse and repeat over and over again, utilizing Canva Magic, right? Okay, let's go back to my database and let me show you the third and final one, which is again, one of my favorites. Now check this out. We're only gonna copy and paste the first paragraph right here, okay? After that, this is a note to remind yourself to do the same thing I just showed you where you're gonna utilize Magic Write to make it longer again. Okay, so now this next one, this is actually one of my favorite little tips to use. Make sure you pay attention because we're actually gonna take Canva further and further into this process. So again, hit that plus button, select Magic Write, and then paste the prompt in. Now check this out. Your content producing machine, what this is gonna give you is a combination of 10 fun facts about any subject. In this case, I selected dogs, okay? So I'll get 10 fun facts about dogs, but not only that, okay? After each fun fact, I also instructed Canva to create a blog post or paragraph about that fun fact. So check this out. Now that we have this prompt in here, my subject is reminder to replace my subject with yours select generate. Okay, so instantly we're gonna get exactly what we we're looking for. Absolutely, I'd be happy to help. Here are 10 facts about dogs along with a short blog post for each fun fact. So as you can see, this definitely isn't long enough for a blog post, but that's okay. That's the power of Canva magic, right? So here is the first fun fact. Dogs have an extraordinary sense of smell, with some breeds being able to detect scents up to 100,000 times better than humans. I'm gonna go ahead and then bold it, right? There's the first fun fact for number one. Here is the second fun fact for number two. So check it out, it's separated in Canva. So you might have to go through it, but look at it right here, okay? First fun fact, and then right after the fun fact, okay, number three, for example, the world's oldest known breed is the Saluki, which dates back to ancient Egypt over 5,000 years ago. That's the fun fact. Canva then follows up with blog post, colon. Here's the blog post. Now, it is incredibly short, but take a journey back in time to explore the rich history of the Saluki breed. Okay, that's the blog post, not long enough, but it doesn't matter. That's where Canva Magic Write and the magic of it comes in. So here's the fun fact. I'm pretty happy with the fun fact. This is where you can double dip. Each fun fact that we're gonna get that could be your social media post, okay? That could be your, your heading. That could be the title of anything you're creating, okay? Easy, simple, and it's gonna be less than 280 characters. But now, we have a follow-up. So even though this isn't as long as a blog post, that's okay. We could, we're gonna do one of three things. We could utilize this as almost like a heading two or short meta description, okay? But if we truly wanted a real blog post, it's as simple as this. Just copy it, magic write populates, and then just select continue writing. Keep selecting continue writing over and over again if you want the blog post to get longer and longer. So check it out. We have our fun fact in bold. Now we have our very short blog post, which we can actually make a head or two or a description, right? But now we actually have the real blog post, three paragraphs worth. If you want to make this longer, all three paragraphs, repeat the process. Highlight it, magic write, continue writing. Now it's gonna expand on it, and then below it, look at this right here. Now we have a legit blog post. You can do this over and over again, and this is only number one. Fun fact, okay, short blog post, which we'll now use as H2, and now the full blog post, all of this right here, and that's just for the very first one. So I could take all of these fun facts and then just do the same exact process over and over again and you're gonna get everything. You're gonna get the title, the fun fact, the blog post, everything that you want. Again, I could take this blog post in number six, highlight it, go to Magic Write, and then I could even say rewrite it. If I don't like it, I can rewrite it yet again. If I like this one, hover that one, use Magic Write, and then you could do make more formal, make more fun, summarize, okay? Make it a little bit shorter, paraphrase it, and then there you have it right here, okay? So I can do the reversal. So let's just say for an example, in number three, let's look at number three about dogs have three eyelids, okay? We're gonna focus on the blog post, okay? Here's the blog post. Dive into the fascinating anatomy of a dog's eye. Obviously, that's not gonna work for a blog post. I'm gonna highlight it though, but now what I'll do is I'll select summarize. So now I'm going backwards. I'm making this little blog post shorter. 
explore the anatomy of a dog's eye and the role of their third eyelid in maintaining eye health. Look at that right there. So you're basically using Canva Magic Right to get long form content, and then you're going to transform any sort of long form content in the short form content. So out of long form content, you can get quick titles or quick headings, but then you could take any sort of short form content like one sentence titles and really produce on that and get long form content out of that. So do you see how you can go back and forth? getting as much content as you want, as short or as long as you want. So again, I really feel like this is only the beginning of the magic of Canva Magic Right and really utilizing it for a prompt engineering machine. So take these three prompts. I'll put links in my descriptions for the Mega Prompts database and for the actual prompts that we saw today. I'll put those in my description as well. But try these out and let me know what you guys think. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm